The artist that we are learning about today is originally from the African country of Mozambique. It is actually very close to the bottom of Africa. Here's Mozambique right here. This is where Nelsa is from. This is Mrs. Hughes. Welcome back to art. I miss seeing your smiling face here in the art room, but I'm glad I can reach out to you through video. This year, we'll be learning about how to use the elements of art and principles of design. The elements of art are the parts that artists use to make their art. The principles of design are how we put these elements together. We started working on these last year in kindergarten, so you might be familiar with some of the words. Also, we'll be using artwork from the continent of Africa. This is a picture. Well, it doesn't really look like a picture. It's what we would call an image. This is an image from an artist from Africa named Nelsa Gawandi. She taught herself how to draw and paint. Looking at her image, I see some elements of art. I see line, shape, and color. And she put some of these lines, shapes, and colors together in pattern. So looking at this picture, what kind of lines do you see in the picture? Oh, that's right, it's not a picture, it's an image. So what kind of lines do you see? What kind of shapes do you see? And what colors do you see? We're going to use Nelson's work to help us out. So you'll need to get a piece of paper and some crayons. You may put your paper either vertically or horizontally. Find your favorite color crayon. Artists like to write their names at the bottom of the paper. So, write your first and last name at the bottom of the paper. You will also need to write your class code. A class code tells me who your teacher is. You want to start with your grade. So that would be a one. Next your name, write a one. first letter of your teacher's name. 
if your teacher is Miss Knight, it starts with a letter K. So you would write a capital K. If your teacher is different from Miss Knight, then think of her first letter and her last name and write that letter next to the number one. Now, using different colors, Draw your own image, like Nelson did, using different kinds of lines, shapes, and colors. want to press hard on your crayon, fill up the whole paper, and then if you have watercolors, you could paint in those different shapes. If you don't have watercolors, that's okay. Take a picture of your finished artwork, hold on to it. I will give you further instructions on how you can send it to me so that I can see it. So until next time, keep working on your lines, shapes, colors, and patterns.